What's up ladies and gentlemen, I'm Vigilante watching the Vigilante Effect and uh, today I had a good workout day. Uh, I started working out and I thought I'd reward myself with uh, getting a few games. So I got Far Cry 3 and Hitman Absolution. Um, I was able to get them from Best Buy at a really good deal. I had it for one game, I think it was Dishonored. Uh, I don't remember what there was a game that I pre-ordered from Best Buy recently. I don't remember which one it was. I don't know if it was Dishonored or oh, it was Assassin's Creed Three. Assassin's Creed Three, and I pre-ordered it from Best Buy. I had a twenty-five dollar gift card that I got as a result, uh, and it comes in maybe about two months later or a month later. I forget. Uh, and uh, basically, it's only redeemable about a month later. So when I came to the store, I was originally just gonna buy Far Cry Three. Now Far Cry Three. My initial thought was that I wasn't going to get this game until uh, I played the first Far Cry and Far Cry 2 because I didn't actually play any of them. I briefly played Far Cry 1 uh, back in the day, but I didn't really get into it. Uh, so I was thinking of getting back into it. But then I saw all the reviews for Far Cry 3 and every single person that I meet that's into video games um, just keeps talking about this game nonstop, saying how great it is and you know how epic it is. and how much of an innovative game it is so you know I thought you know what let me try it and also because I don't think the Far Cry games really relate to one another just in terms of the style but other than that the story I don't think actually uh, uh, is connected so you know it's basically like a separate game so I thought you know what let me go buy that so as I buy that I see there's a sign that says uh, that lists a bunch of games that if you buy two of them you get a forty dollar gift card and lo and behold, I see it says Far Cry 3 and Hitman Absolution. If you get um, those games together, you get a $40 gift card from Best Buy. So I thought, oh, that's great. So, you know, I'll get a $25 gift card that I'm going to use now. Plus, I'm going to get a $40 gift card that I'm going to use for whatever I'm going to use later. So I saved a ton of money on this purchase right here. So that was awesome. Uh, for Hitman, Hitman Absolution... Um, also got really good reviews from what I've seen and you know it's basically I haven't played any of the Hitman uh, recently I've played Hitman uh, the first Hitman or was it Code 47 I believe it was called um, I don't really remember but it, the, the one that came out on the PC I played that back in the day back in 2000 and then I uh, had recently purchased recently as in within maybe the last year or two years uh, the Hitman Collection, Hitman 2, Silent Assassin. I also remember playing this back in the day. Hitman Contracts and Hitman Blood Money. But I never actually finished them. So I didn't want to buy Hitman for that reason. Uh, I don't want to buy Hitman Absolution because of that. Because I just want to first play the PS2 ones. And then from there go on to Hitman Absolution. But because of the fact that I saw the deal. Uh, I thought, you know what, let me pick it up. And I'll get into it. And also because of the fact that. I'm going to be putting out a top 10 games of 2012. Uh, hopefully it's going to be an annual thing depending on the future of this channel. Um, but, you know, hopefully it's going to be an annual thing where I do a top 10 of each year. And this one's going to be special. So uh, I thought, you know what, let me include as many games as possible. Obviously I'm not going to, I'm not going to include the games I didn't play. Uh, like, for instance, I didn't play... Uh, the new Transformers game, I didn't play that. I didn't play the new Darksiders game. So that those are, you know, there's going to be some flaws in that. In the fact that I didn't play them, so they would, they definitely wouldn't be included in the top 10. But it doesn't necessarily mean that they're not top 10 quality. But anyway, I'm working on that and it's going to be real cool, I promise you. Um, and also, just last update, the Batman Arkham Asylum um, giveaway is still on. And, you know, if you want to still enter the competition, just check the video that I talk about the 1,000 subscribers giveaway. Um, comment on that video and you'll just be entered in a random generator. And I think I'm going to do the drawing sometime next week. Uh, and Basically, I'm going to make the announcement then. So just stay tuned to the channel. Hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, there's really nothing on box here. Just, uh, you know, just has the game. I don't have any uh, anything extra in it. Let me just open it for you. Get this out of the way here. Just so you see the box art. Yeah, this is the manual. This is the Hitman Absolution CD. The manual doesn't look like it has, you know, it's it's not old school, it's the new type where it only just has the controls. Um, 
nothing really special on that. And Far Cry 3, really looking forward to playing this one. I should play it pretty soon. Um, let's see here. This is the UB or you play passport. Here's the game art. It's basically the same as the front. And this manual, let's see here. Yeah, same thing, same concept. Um, nothing really special, just art. And, you know, standard stuff. And this one has 18 best of E3 awards and nominations. So, looking forward to playing Far Cry 3 a lot. Especially for the fact that there's sharks in there. I don't know. I have a love-hate relationship with sharks. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed. It's been the Vigilante Effect. And uh, please like. If you haven't subscribed, subscribe. Check out my channel. Check out the videos. And peace.